So people have asked me how I keep my pool balls so clean, what do I have to do, and, and why do you keep your pool balls so clean? Pool balls, like any other ball in professional sports, um, the object is to keep the friction, the dirt off the balls so that you'll have reduced friction. Uh, the friction on a ball slows down the spin, slows down the roll, uh, forces you to hit the ball harder. Now every pool player has got a range in their stroke between zero, let's say, and uh, for a scale of one to ten, and, and uh, five, let's say, zero and five pounds of, of force where you would have your most accuracy. When you have to start hitting harder than that, you start moving your body, all of your mechanics change around, <coughs> your accuracy goes downhill. Dirty pool balls, as well as a dirty table uh, with lots of chalk and dirt, will cause the accuracy of your game to go way down. The other real important thing for a pool player is, as with any sport, is you want to try to keep your conditions the same all the time. So from the time your balls come out of the box and put on the table and you start using them, they start to get dirty. Just me holding this will put oils onto the ball. <coughs> There's chalk from the table that gets on the ball. And as time goes on, the balls get dirtier and dirtier. You have to hit harder and harder. So to improve your game the quickest, you'd like to keep the balls in that steady state of being clean so that you, what, you, what you do today will be the same tomorrow and the day after. Okay, so when I clean the balls, I use a very simple process. Process is just the same as cleaning my car. It's a four-step process. First you wash your car, you wash the balls. Then you rinse it off, get all the dirt off. Now you've got a clean uh, slate. Then you apply your polish. You let your polish dry to a haze and then you buff it out. So four stages. Wash, um, rinse, polish, and then buff. Okay, so as you can see, I would, some friends of mine were kind enough to lend me some of their uh, a set of pool balls, which are, as you can see are pretty dirty. Um, this stuff just doesn't this doesn't come off. So as I said before, the process is wash, rinse, you know, polish. Now there's some products on the market. You have Aramith ball cleaner, very popular. Things like Chempak you can also use. You can use Bright, it has pool, pool ball polish. And how they suggest that you do this is one by one by hand, you would just take the ball, put a little dab on it, and rub. As you can see, this would take a long time. You gotta go all the way around the ball, and it would clean off some of the dirt. I have found another product out there. I found it on eBay. Um, just happens to be a system that will use your um, your, your power drill to help you do some of the hard work. So it, it comes with a, a, a washer pad and a washer bucket. You also have a buffing area. I would do two steps of the operation here. I would do the washing here and I would do the polish application in this bucket also. I would rinse them out in between steps and I'll show you all that. It only takes a few minutes and then I would buff them in the buffing bucket. Um, normally I would do this in the kitchen, um, but it's hard to shoot a video in the kitchen, so I'm gonna try to bring the kitchen here into the pool room uh, to, to help you with this demonstration. Okay, so the other products I showed you, all perfectly good to use. Matter of fact, they're made for that purpose. Personally, I've been using lately just regular household products. I use water 
I used some rubbing alcohol uh, for the cleaning stage. And for the polish and buffing stages, I, I just used plain old turtle wax. And it seems to work just fine for me. Uh, so with that, I will show you the, the process. I just add a little, uh, a little of my um, alcohol into my bucket, enough to wet it. If you want, you can put uh, a little water in there. Well, it's going to be hard to do. Okay, throw four balls in your bucket. Get your handy dandy drill. Now you can use you can use a drill press. You can use a, um, you know cordless drill. I'm using an electric drill, and we'll just see how this does. Put it in there for about five ten seconds. See, pretty clean. Now these are in pretty bad shape, so they might require a couple of a couple of uh, tries. If you do this like every two weeks, depending on the usage on your table, uh, you probably don't have to. Uh, one one pass would be good enough. I'm going to do these one more time just so you can see again. All right. Okay, that's the wash and the rinsing. I'm just going to throw them in a bucket of water for now. Again, I would be doing this at the sink most of the time, which is more convenient, but let's continue with this. You see all the dirt coming off fairly clean. Four more. Let's see that. It's not coming off rubbing. Let's see how it does here. Pretty clean. Last four. Now the cue ball obviously gets the most abuse since it gets hit on every shot. So I'm going to put this in for one more pass. Uh, see if I can get that a little better. But these balls haven't been cleaned and. Probably haven't been cleaned in a year. Now I'm using, because I use this, this uh, system, I'm using the alcohol because it doesn't create suds. If I were to use some kind of other detergent in here, uh, foam would come out. It doesn't spray all over the place, but it becomes more sloppy. So I like the water uh, and the alcohol because it's pretty easy to, uh, number one, it's easy to see and inspect your balls after that they're nice and clean. Um, and you don't have to look through the suds, plus it doesn't make the big mess. Okay, so I will go and I'll rinse out my bucket and we'll come back and we'll do the, uh, the polishing stage.